Hi guys, PJ here and today I'm going to be removing the front door speakers from a 2004 Citroen C1. Now this particular car having them moulded behind the panel, we've got to remove the whole panel to get to them. I'll go through it step by step showing each key, uh, you know, part as we get there sort of thing. Okay, so first of all guys, we're going to start off by just removing the electric window switch. Very simple thing to do. You need a, like a plastic pry device, I've got a Bojo tool here, and just pop it underneath. There is a little lip on the front corner here that you can get under. Don't use a screwdriver because you will actually uh, mangle all the plastic edge up on it. You know, you, your metal screwdriver is a lot stronger than the, uh, than the plastic and it's going to damage it. So try and use a plastic one where possible and just pop it up. Underneath this is a connector that you need to unplug. Okay, there's your connector. Basically, it's just a case of well, wiggle it and it'll come out, it'll just sort of come loose. It'll just sort of rock it backwards and forwards and off it comes, there you go. It'll only fit back on one way round, so there's no way of refitting it the wrong way or anything like that. Just uh, push that out of the way. The next thing is pretty obvious, up at the top here we have a Phillips screw. Go ahead and undo your Phillips screw. Try and use a magnetic screwdriver because if you do drop the screw it can disappear into infinity and then you're scratching around forever in a day. Okay, so we've removed the screw there, just leaving the hole. Next up, you're going to get your plastic uh, pry tool again. Yep. And if you just go to the edge of the door panel, you should be able to slot it down there and actually pop. You'll be able to pop some poppers. There you go, you can hear them all going. Go all the way along with it. In fact, you can just literally put your hand under it and put your popping tool down. There we go. All the way. Some are a bit stiff. The top ones especially can be a bit stiff, so get your tool on those ones to just pop them all the way along. Just take care of the plastics, like I say, it's not, uh, it's not the strongest thing in the world. There we go. That's all loose now. All the way around, that's loose. Yeah. So when you've got it to this stage where it's loose up to sort of here and you've gone around all the outside edge, your next thing to remove is this. Again, plastic pry tool required. Just sort of jimmy it out. It's sometimes quite tight this. There we go. That was on plastic clips, look. Put that to one side safely and you'll notice underneath Phillips crosshead screw there and another Phillips crosshead screw there. Go ahead with your magnetic screwdriver and remove those. And there they are removed. One, two. Now, these screws are actually pretty chunky. You can't get them mixed up with the one you removed sort of near the door handle, the one that came from here. I'll just show you both. There you go. So these are your bigger ones that you've just removed and this one was from the door handle originally. You can't get them mixed up. So with those two screws removed, all you've got to do now, you'll have a couple of plastic clips left. In fact, that one's just popped off, I felt it. Probably have to give it a bit of a waggle. It comes around the door handle, look, and over, yeah? Watch your connector down there, you don't want to pull on it. Took it through the little hole out of the way. And also, watch your cable there on the back of the speaker. You're going to need to unplug that while you hold the door panel in one hand. As such, you'll see there it's on a squeezy clip, so just press the tab in and the connector will pull out of the socket that's there, okay? So you're now left with a completely bare door panel and also the rear of your plastic panel, okay? Now you've got to remove the speaker here. Okay, so get your plastic door card, and bear in mind the fact it is plastic, you don't want to scratch it, so do not put it down on the tarmac or the concrete. Get yourself some sort of foam to light on, if you can't get that, get something like a old or cardboard box. Lie it flat, so you've got access to the rear of the speaker, and remove all the Phillips crosshead screws around the edge. Like I say, a magnetic screwdriver is very helpful for this. them safe. Okay, so we just jumped forward to where I've removed all the screws. They're now off. If you just pay close attention to the connector, you'll notice there's a minus symbol here and a plus symbol here. So the black wire on this one is your negative. 
just lift the speaker out. It's just bonded on, so just give it a bit of a bit of a wiggle. It can stick because of the bonding agent. Just there we go, off it comes. Okay, so that's your speaker removed, and you've got your grill ready for the new replacement speaker. Okay, so at this point you want to be unpacking your new speakers. These particular ones are Fly, made by Vibe. They'll come with a grill, you don't need that at all. Take that away, you can put that back in the box for safekeeping. You will, however, need the wiring that comes with it, because you're going to want the connectors that are on the end there, okay? Now, these speakers have basically spades on to connect this to, yeah? And the original speaker, which looks a, a lot paler in comparison to the nice new one we've got here. That's like a, a, a proper connector. So on the car, we're going to be snipping this off. At this point, go ahead, get your speaker, line up some mounting holes, check your mounting depth. You don't want it too high, because if it's too high, it'll hit the door. Okay, very important. I'll put the depth of the speaker in the description uh, below the video. So line up your holes and put your screws in. One thing to note on a lot of speakers is that you know you can't line up all the mounting holes on them. You'll notice they do not line up, such as this particular one. There's the hole. It's not going to line up at all. So what we're going to have to do is drill a couple more extra holes in the speaker surround very, very carefully. Extra holes drilled. We've done one here and one across the other side diagonally. Go ahead, line your speaker up and uh, pop at least four screws in. Just a quick tip, when you're putting your screws in, leave them loose so that you can just sort of wobble the speaker around a bit to get the others to lock into the plastic lugs. When you've done that, obviously go ahead and tighten each screw independently until they're all done. Next up, we need to be coming back to the wiring that comes with the speakers. And as you can see, all I've done is snipped it in half, put two bullet connectors on the end, and then basically connect it up. Push these on here, yeah? And then do the same to the car wiring. Over at the car side here, it's worth noticing that the pink is the positive, the pink is the plus, okay? On the driver's side, just note that blue is the positive, so that is your plus on the driver's side. Just snip your connector off, or if you've got a proper adapter cable that you bought with a kit, plug it in now. There we go. So we've crimped two uh, bullet connectors on the end of this. You can solder it, but it won't really matter. Uh, we've crimped those on. There's your door card, ready lined up with your bit of wire on that you're simply going to plug in. Now remember, pink is the positive. Um, so just follow it through, plug those together. Next up, we've connected the bullets together and electrical tape them all up so they're nice and sealed. Feel free to get your door panel and start lifting it back into position over the door handle making sure your green wire there for the electric window switch comes through the hole. Then push fit all the poppers back on. Before clipping your panel fully back on, it's worth putting your ignition on and just testing your stereo and making your new speaker does work. All going well when it works, just follow through and tap all the way around to actually put the panel back on. Pay attention to this little uh, door lock here. It's got to go through the hole. Obviously, if you put the panel on incorrectly, you're going to not get that done. Okay, so we've refitted all the screws. We've got the smaller one there and the two larger ones here. You then get your little cover panel, which just fits over. Line it up. Always tricky to do one-handed. Just pop it on. There we go. Good bash and it's clicked in. All done. Same with your electric window switch. Just pop that down and it'll click in nicely. Right way around it out. There we go. In, nice and flush. Check your door catch still works and your door lock works. And that is how you fit six inch speakers into the front doors of a 2004 Citroen C1. Thanks for watching. Any questions at all, pop them in the comments below. Goodbye for now.